Hey guys, Will here. And in this video, we're gonna go over some brand new image editing features in MediaPlace. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm on the homepage and I'm gonna click on install AI plugins. All right, so if you haven't already, we will need to install a background removal AI plugin. So I'll click download there. And we need to also download an AI upscaler if you haven't done that already. All right, so once you do that, you only need to do it once and we won't have to worry about that anymore. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my library and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this image here, it takes me into my image editor. All right, so as you can see on the right-hand side, I've got access to all the things from adding text, um, adding images, rectangles, circles, transforming it, all the stuff that we've gone over before inside of image editing, but let's talk about the new stuff. All right, so at the top, we've got an undo redo feature, right? So if I come to adjustments here, say I bump up the brightness way too much, and then I make some contrast changes, and then maybe increase the lightness more. And I've kind of blown out this image and I don't know what to do. So what I can do is I now have the option to undo those steps a couple times over, or I can redo those steps. All right, so the next new feature we've added is custom angles. So if I go to rotate, I can now enter custom angles for my image there. So depending on which specific L I want, I now have the flexibility to do that, right? So that is one of the other new features that we've added for our rotate feature. All right, so now let's talk about some of our updated AI features inside of our image editing section. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the picture out here though. So I'm gonna go back to my library and I am going to choose, uh, let's go with this AI generated image here. All right, and so what I wanna do is I wanna remove the background, right? We now have a more advanced uh, background removal AI feature built into MediaPlace that uses credits. So what I could do is I can click on advanced and then it will process out and remove that background for me very nice and clean inside of Media Place, right? And then of course I can always uh, rename this guy and then I can save it um, to my main library or I can then drag it to uh, my pictures folder, which I got right there, all right? So the next feature I wanna talk about is our object removal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And now I wanna go ahead and remove this leaf right here, right? It's kind of in my way and I don't want it to be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shade around that green leaf there. And I can also adjust my shape size real quick just to show you, I could bring it up to 50 as a max. And then I could take this down all the way to like eight and you see it gets real fine tuned, right? So let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit since we have a bigger object here. And it's best if you shade kind of on the outside of it, right? It kind of helps the AI generate that background for you um, as opposed to just generating inside the leaf, right? Now, one thing I do wanna point out is if you mess up or you need to, to take away some of that selection, you can select erase and then you can then remove some of that selection that you got. All right, so let's go back to draw and let's go ahead and fill out this leaf so we can then remove it in a good way here. All right, so I've got it all selected. Now in the bottom right, I'll select remove objects and then it will process. Sometimes it takes a while if you have a very advanced image with, with a very intensive background, um, but this is kind of a simpler background so it shouldn't take that long. So once it's done, it will then remove the leaf and I've got a nice clean AI adjusted background there, right? So it's really cool. All right, so you can get a little more advanced too. So let's work on this uh, this blueberry section here, right? So let's go back to our object removals here. And then I'm going to just draw around our blueberries here and just shade around so we can get them out of the picture here. All right, so there we go. So far, so good. Got them all highlighted in. Now, if I remove the objects, again, this one may be a little more complex because there's more involved, but it will do a pretty good job at removing those blueberries for us, all right? So once it's done, you can see that it did that. Now, if I punch out a little bit, I can do um, undo, and we can kind of see how that looks. If we like it, we can keep it. But if you hadn't seen them there before, I think it does a very excellent job of removing those objects for us inside of Media Place, right? So again, really powerful tools that are built in to kind of help your creative flow, help you stay organized, and keep you contained within one house, right? Which is Media Place. All right, so now let's talk about our text removal feature. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up our remove text automatically. And I've got an image here with some text at the top, right? Just to show you as an example of how this feature works. All right, so all I need to do is import in this picture and then I can click on remove all text and then it will process out that text and allow me to use that photo for any way that I see fit afterwards. All right, so now that it has removed the text, it has done a really good job. I can even punch in a little bit and you can kind of see that it did an amazing job actually at removing that text for me out of that photo. So again, really powerful features built right into Media Place to kind of help that creative workflow. All right, so one of the last AI features I wanna talk about inside of our image editor is the expand image feature. 
All right, so now if I open up Expand Image, you'll see you have some options, right? So this isn't a tool that crops anything. What it does is it actually redevelops your image, pushing out the sides, um, making it a nine by 16 or convert it to a one by one, but rebuilding out your pixels, whether it be on the left or the right or the top or the bottom, right? So for example, let's say I wanna turn this into a 16 by nine. All I need to do is select my 16 by nine ratio and then hit expand image. And then depending on your image, it may take a little while depending on how complex it is, but once it's done, it will process it out and then we'll add the left and right sides to that. So if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that it built a nice um, image for me, right? So if I go for, this was the before, and then here is the after. So again, really powerful AI features built right into Media Place. All right, so one more feature I do wanna talk about is how to use automation with our AI functions, right? So let's go and say, for example, I wanna create a folder. So I'll go ahead and add a folder here. And then let's go ahead and name this upscaled images, right? Now what I can do is with that folder selected, come over here to my automations and let's create a new automation, right? So I'll select add a new action preset and let's name this upscale. All right, and now I can add an action and they'll give me some options. I can choose all files, images, video, audio, I'm gonna go with images and let's go ahead and find the upscaling um, action there. And from here, I can choose what type of model. Do I want generic photo? Do I want digital art? This is gonna be generic photo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scale up. Actually, you know what? Let's make this digital art because I'm gonna be working with digital art. Um, scale up. So let's do scale up two times and then we'll save them as JPEGs. The quality be 90%. And, um, and yeah, so we've got our action set. So now what I can do is I can click off of that Come over here on the right with my folder still selected, hit add action, and then there is the upscale action I just created, right? So I'll select that. Now this folder has a rule. So anything that goes into this folder will be upscaled by two. And then you do have the option to remove the source file when done, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the source file so I can kind of see what's going on. All right, so for example, let's go ahead and go back to my library here out with all my files. And if I want, I can go ahead and drag in I can drag in this clip here. You can do this two ways, right? You can go ahead and drag it in to your upscaled images like that. And it will then automatically start upscaling. And in the bottom right, you'll see my progress bar. And you can drag in multiple of these, right? I can drag in four or five clips and it goes ahead and upscales that for me in the background, right? So I don't have to do very much. Now, the other way you can do this is you can import in some files, right? So let's go ahead and say I wanna import um, some files, but first let's see. So I just dragged that file in and just finished. And here is my source file. And then here is the upscaled version, right? So it shows you the size that it upscaled to. So again, it, Media Place does the work for you. Um, if you set up the right tools and the right systems, it can really be very powerful. All right now let's say, for example, I wanna import. So I go to import and I wanna import in all these photos here. I can hit open and then it'll prompt me with where do I want these files to go inside of Media Place. So I have folders, um, I can have it go to my, just my library, but I'm gonna choose upscaled images and then select import, right? So now you can see that it imported those images into my upscaled images folder. And then I need to, in the background, it's already upscaling those images for me. So I don't have to do anything, right? So again, um, Media Place being smart and doing the work for us, now you can see inside this folder that I've got all of my original files with our upscaled images, right? So here is my original of this one. And then here's the upscaled. Same thing with this guy here is the original of this one. And then here is the upscaled version, right? So automation is really an awesome feature built right into Media Place, right? So that was a really awesome overview of some of the new features inside of our image editing, as well as using automation for our upscaling AI feature. Stay tuned for more future tutorials. And as always, keep creating.